Well, hello, show buddies, and welcome back to the channel. I am working on compiling video beach reports, sort of, about some of the damage and things that have happened to the local beaches since Idalia came through. So this little series of videos is going to be about individual beaches that I visited since she got past us on Thursday. Um, well, Wednesday, but Thursday is when we went out. So you're going to see stuff on Lido, Longboat, Coquina, Anna Maria Island, Pasa Grill, and Sunset Beach Treasure Island. Things are a little messed up, but nowhere near as bad as it could have been. We got a side swipe, and it was a good one, but it could have been a thousand times worse, as anybody who lives here uh, and was here last year is very well aware. All right, and continuing with the post Adalia Central Gulf Coast Beach updates and uh, damage reports, let's talk for a minute about uh, one of the one of the favorite spots in my neck of the woods, actually, uh, Coquina Beach and Holmes Beach at Anna Maria Island. Now, uh, Anna Maria is an odd little spot. Like, you cross in on one of two bridges to get there, both of which were closed following the storm because of the monumental storm surge that we kind of got from all of that. And um, if you go north on Anna Maria, that's where a lot of the vacation rentals are. That's where a lot of little shops and places to eat and stuff like that are. And then if you continue further north, that's very residential and really can't get at the beach in a lot of places up there, just a few access points. So Holmes Beach and Coquina Beach are where most people come to when they go to the beach in Bradenton. It's the easiest to get to. There's plenty of parking and it's like you park on the road and the dunes right there and then there's the beach. So it's close. So there's a, a lot of folks come to Coquina and to Holmes Beach, not necessarily for shelling, but just to go to the beach, just to go enjoy the ocean and go be outside. So we're going to roll through and not actually stop, but you're going to get to see what things sort of look like on uh, Friday when we went through there. And, um, yeah, there was a lot of standing water everywhere we went on Friday because we, we went to a number of places on Friday, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> it was, uh, it was a mess. Now, it, it wasn't a wind event storm, okay? So there's not a lot of branches down, and there's not power outages and trees sagging and all this other stuff. If you were to go through, you'd almost think nothing even happened until you looked at the ground and you saw all the evidence of the flooding that was pretty much everywhere we looked. Unfortunately, uh, they lost some sand over at Coquina Beach as well. And uh, so, yeah, let's let's go take a look. In this compilation video, I'm also going to be including my very short two to four minute updates that I was giving as things were happening, but did not have the time to uh, edit so that I couldn't give you the full picture. So the, the smaller report will be contained in this larger report. Well, hello, show buddies, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, we've got another update for you today on beach conditions around the area following uh, Hurricane Idalia, almost called a tropical storm. My goodness. Okay, so the Barrier Islands have opened again. You can now get onto Anna Maria, you can get onto Longboat, you can get onto Lido. This tweet was put out by the Sheriff's Department on Wednesday as the water levels were starting to rise. So yes, Anna Maria Island did take a good bit of water, as did Longboat and Lido Keys and St. Armand. Okay, there's the barge. Wow. Damn. All the beach is gone over here. Every bit of it. They just did that beach. Yep. Jeez Louise. The beach is gone over there too. Shoo! The bottom of Coquina is gone. Looks like new sand turned up over there though. No, no, that's just where they cleared all the trees. And they're dredging and fixing stuff over there. It looks like the water's gotten crazy shallow. And there is no beach left at the bottom of Coquina. It is just scoured away. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, 
wow, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. All the sand is all in the parking lot. There's a monster pile of it. Picnic area is underwater. Parking lot over here is where the RVs are supposed to park is underwater. Look at that. The whole kids' playground is underwater still. And this is Friday. Adalia was past this Wednesday. It gives you an idea how much storm surge they actually took over here. Alright, looks like they've been shoveling sand for a couple of days and run the street sweeper through here. Sand all over everything. Uh, the parking right here along Holmes Beach looks it's to have... Uh, it's been under construction and had stuff going on anyway for some water uh, main issues. Doesn't exactly look right right now either. And we can tell that the ocean is closer to us. There's piles of sand and stuff on the other side. You can tell all this was underwater. Yeah, this, this little spot over here got hit pretty good too. And then the next day or so, I'm going to be able to get back out onto Anna Maria Island and check some of the beaches a little more closely. We just, uh, we could tell from the way things looked that day that we weren't really quite ready for that. Um, a lot of parking was blocked off already because of the water main work, but a lot more because things got a little rearranged. But what I... Um, one of the things I did notice is one of the lifeguard stations seemed to be listing forward and that some sand around the base of it had been washed out. So yeah, I want to get back out there and take a look a little closer at Coquina itself because I am familiar with that beach. And then a little further up at Holmes and then head toward the top end of the island where uh, where you can see the, the Skyway Bridge from. There's a little fishing pier up there and a beach off to the side of it. So I'm gonna get back out there and take a little uh, closer look at exactly what AMI is looking like. Now, it's not that the peach is unusable. Certainly, you know, people were out all weekend long in a lot of places on it. It's just that it's not gonna look like what you remember because it's missing a lot of sand because it all got pushed inland. Well, thanks for tuning in for this beach update. And um, notice you'll see my little Anna Maria hat and my Crystal River shirt. Love to all Floridians who have had to deal with impacts of Adalia. I'm sorry for everybody for having to go through this, especially for the folks upstate. We got fortunate around here that the beaches got a side swipe and not a direct hit because, yeah, this is a mess and yeah, this isn't good. And it's going to. I can't even think of how astronomical the cost on renourishment for these beaches is going to be from us to Cedar Key. I mean, unfathomable, unfathomable numbers. So we'll see what happens and what the future brings for all of these areas, whether or not they get renourished or whether or not they stay as is and nature goes its own way. We'll find out in the coming months. Meantime, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.